My name is Doug Sharp and I'm the pastor at Port Orchard at Adventist Church. Been there for a few years and uh, recently I had a visitor who uh, I'd never seen before come darken the door of our church at worship time and um, right after the worship service uh, one of our members, Bob Norman, happened to take time to go and introduce himself to uh, Corky and Cherie, the visitors for the day, and he made their acquaintance. They got to talking while I was out uh, saying goodbye to uh, the parishioners uh, at the end of Sabbath worship service. I came back in, got in on the conversation, and found out that Corky and Cherie, who lived in the uh, Key Peninsula area, wanted to start a, a, a church. Well, first, we decided we wanted to go to Gig Harbor Church. That was and there isn't one. We got up Sabbath morning and we tried to find the Gig Harbor Church and there was no Gig Harbor Church. My wife and I, we, we run an a auto rental business down in uh, Tacoma and we've been doing that for about 10 years now. Bob caught Corky's vision of planting a church in the Key Peninsula area and he offered his offices basically where he runs his drywall company and also an auto sales place and they offered that to be used to, to have a worship time on Sabbath afternoon for prayer and praise seeking the Holy Spirit's direction and what we should do in the Key Peninsula area. And we decided to do a Discover Bible School and we're just really excited about it. We just got it in our heads to do it and God really provided this for it. We I had bought a car specifically for God and we were going to sell it and it wouldn't sell and wouldn't sell and then we um, just started renting it and when we checked out the amount for the Bible school tickets and you know send out the stuff in the mail it would be it was just it covered it it covered all of it to cover it and I think that is so exciting because that's just another one of God's little things that he does and we've We've got 45 people now, and the cards just keep coming in every time we go to the mailbox. One more. We just get more and more cards, and we're just so excited. We just love to go there. One more soul. Because it's just more souls for the kingdom, and it's always my saying, it's just one more soul, just one more soul. And here's 45 right here that are just waiting to hear about God, and so that's really exciting to us. When I came into the church, I said, when I saw the evangelist give the evangelistic series, I said, why don't they have this all the time? And they said, sorry, Corky, you don't understand. It takes money to do these things. It takes advertising to do these things. And we can't just have this all the time. And Corky um, found out about the DVD and thought, wow, we ought to try that. See, I used to, I used to be in this top 40 band. And uh, we used to play music and I'd, I'd have, I had big PA gear and now we're getting ready to do this. Uh, basically on our, on, our, uh, on our own. Our little church was a brand new church plant. We didn't have any gear. So it was just like the Lord was talking to me. He said, go out there and get that gear. And it's just been exciting to see over the last few weeks how God has opened up doors and just miracle after miracle has happened to see um, the, the actual leading of the Lord. And we'd just like to tell you about a few of those things. And I don't know if you saw all the signs when you're coming up the main drag up there, but you can see them all down the roads that you come in. And with. we're just we're about getting wore out here because <laughs> right down here where the E is is kind of come come loose here. It's a little bit wiggly right there, but it's all right. Yeah, Boy, I'll tell you what, this thing came in real handy. I mean, these these roads are so dangerous out here, and me and Corky are pulling the van over, getting out of the van, and going up and pound. I mean, we're the road's like two feet away from us. People are doing 45, 50 miles an hour. And we're just pounding away at these things and stapling them up, you know, not even worrying. We made about 100 signs with these. Every staple going in the sign, I'm just going, man, this is great to be out and work for the Lord and be able to take the time off of work and do that. I called the Key Civic Center and I knew that on a Wednesday in the evening, shoot, I'd been down here and I'd looked at the different buildings and I'd looked at the big major uh, gymnasium attached to the building. I said, that is the perfect community prayer service and called Gina up at the Key Civic Center and I said, Gina, uh, Wednesday night, September 11th, got to have that big gymnasium. And she said, there was a ruffling of papers and she came back on the phone. She said, Corky, that one's not available. And I said, wait a second. I said, Lord, uh, the gymnasium, community prayer service, and you know, isn't this it? And uh, she said, no, nope, community prayer, uh, your uh, gymnasium is not available. And I said, well, wait a second. Okay, how about that 100 room, the 100 person building, or if, could we get that one? 
wrestled in the paper. She says, you know what? That one is also used on, on Wednesday, September 11th. And I said, wait a second. That only leaves one other room. That's the VFW room. And, she, and it holds about 40, 45 people. And I said, man, we wanted to try to touch more people for God. And I, and I got kind of discouraged right then and there. And I said, Lord, what's this? I mean, I, you know, I just expected that we'd, that we'd encounter more people than that. But I said, that's okay. Uh, let me go ahead and sign the papers for the small room. As I was supposed to get a hold of the newspaper, and I didn't get a hold of the newspaper because I had taken the day off to go to a Mariners baseball game. And uh, when I came when I came back home and I thought, boy, I should have been about my father's business and I should have took care of that and I didn't do it. So the next day I called up the paper, the lady answered the phone and she says, I'm sorry, uh, sir, but the deadline for the paper was yesterday at five o'clock and that's about when I was sitting at the ball game. And she says, well, just hold on a second. Uh, I'm gonna go, I, I need to go get the editor. And I said, wait a second, the editor? Okay, well, I could talk to the editor. So I waited a long time. The editor came back on the on the phone. She says, "Hi, my name's September." And I said, "What?" Yeah, my name's September. And are you the one with the community prayer service? I said, "Yes, my name is Corky Stebbs. I'm with the community prayer service, and I was just trying to get this ad in here. I I need to get the ad in there for our for our our Bible study series coming up. Hope for the Homeland Bible study series, and then I also need to have our community prayer service, and." She said, well, you're the one putting on the community prayer service. I said, yeah, I'm in charge of that. She says, yeah, it's already in. Yeah, it's on page three. I already put it in for you. It's in there. I told him it was already in one prior, and it was also going to be in this one. So She says, well, don't worry about it, Corky. I've been running that ad for over a week now, and, uh, and I just need to know more about you. We're going to send a couple of reporters out there. I'm coming out there myself. As I was driving home, I saw some signs in Purdy and I, as I was heading out, I saw more signs and, and more signs and there were several signs all the way clear up to my house and I don't even live that far into the Key Peninsula. And, uh, and I thought that it was worthy to get into the newspaper. I hung up the phone and I sat there for just a second and I said, uh, thank you, Lord. I know you take care of us no matter if we, if we go to the ball game and we forget to do our business and you still take care of us. My faith just went wow like that and past that I said okay the Lord's in charge of this no matter what happens I know that it's going to be good for God it's going to be good for us and we're going to touch people for Christ. Gina the lady at the front desk she said you know I seen your reader board out on the main road out there and uh, how many people are you expecting to have and I said well I don't know Gina probably maybe 20 maybe 50 I was I was hoping a lot more and she started thinking that there was going to be a lot more and she said well have you got an alternative and I said no this is our this is our only art alternative I said I wanted this place Key Civic Center to be our anchor point so we could do our community prayer service and then have our home, hope for the homeland meetings right after that and do it all right here at the, at this uh, building and so uh, this this is where we need to have it she says well did you ever think about any other place beside that? And I said, well, how about the parking lot? Could we do something out in the parking lot? And she said, well, that's probably not a good idea. People come to park and park in there. And she said, wait a second. Why don't you look out the back window? And being as short as I am, I had to kind of get up on my knees and look out the back window. And, and I looked out back there, and there's this big, huge double tennis court out back. And she, she said, how about having your community prayer service right there? And I just stopped again. My jaw is on the ground again. I, the spatula is going again. I got to get my jaw <laughs> up off the ground again. And she said, you could go ahead and use that right back there. Look at here comes Elmo. He's bringing the chairs. Oh, yeah, come on. Get those chairs. <laughs> and he's got a load of them. That's the first load right there. And right then and there, I knew. I said, look right out at the tennis court. And I said, now, that is a community prayer service place right there. We just get to work for the Lord when we're just vessels and clay pots, and both him and I are kind of round clay pots, <laughs> round clay but, pots. but we're still pots, you know, so it's good. <laughs> you know, yeah, it is. no matter what size pot you are, you can work for God. No matter, you know, tall pot, small pot, big pot, 
Yeah. Short putt, <laughs> whatever it is. We're not gonna have 50 people in there. This place could probably handle a thousand people out here. Won't you be there when he comes? When he comes to take his children home. Everyone was given a candle, and what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and file up and around these microphones here, light our candles, and we'll form a big circle here. Oh, 